Okay, that didn't Hey everybody, J and A Review, and today we're back at Triple H RVs here in Haleyville, Alabama. Now, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Today we're going to be looking at a 2024 Crossroads Zinger, model number 298BH. So let's get started. The length on this Crossroads Zinger is 33 feet 11 inches. The dry weight is 7,192 pounds, and that hitch weight is 828. Okay, now Jeremy did not point this out, but Zinger is a new brand for us. We um, have not had a chance to look at these in the past, so we are excited to be able to bring these to you and learn about them in the process. So here's one side of your pass-through storage. I'll back up, let you see the whole side here. You have a dump area right here. Let's go on down. Your other dump area is gonna be right back here. So they're very uh, easy to get to. You're gonna have an outside shower here at the back. Your black pink flush. Um, yeah, so all easy wow. to get to your Spare is already mounted. You do have a ladder already here, and it is prepped for a backup camera. Yeah. So let's see what the campsite has for us. I don't know. I think my new word today is going to be cool. Everything is cool. Okay. We're going to, so we're not going to be nice. We're going to be cool. This is cool right here. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So you do have a, um, a neat little outside mini fridge. Your um, whoop. <laughs> okay, that didn't stay. You didn't clip it. <laughs> Anyway, we'll do this as a team. So you are going to have a sink here. Uh, it's not plumbed through, but you can run water in it and then dump that. Here is a, oh, it wasn't finished. <laughs> well, it's just two burner. Well, it's a two burner cooktop. Yeah. Yes. And your, um, yeah, don't shut that on there. Oh. Your propane quick connect is going to be right under there. And you'll see that it, it does have power stabilizers. So that is a very nice feature back it up to look at your campsite you have a very long power awning i don't know if we have a length on that um no i did not no but it looks like it's at least 20 foot 19 20 feet yeah with an led light strip under it you are going to have dual entries and we'll go ahead and show you this outside storage right up here at the front very very nice oh i'm sorry cool it's very it's cool. cool. It's called Look, this is cool. And your side Sun indicators, yeah. those um, markers. I wish we had those on ours. Yeah, ours is really not prepped. <laughs> no, well, I think very that nice. I don't know if it even existed. They like the they like the graphics on it. Yeah, we I, I like I the like graphics. It. I think they're very clean looking. Um, it's it's kind of nice to see something that's not strictly black and white mm -hmm. at this point. But hey, let's go right on inside and take a look. Um, this is a 298 BH, so it has a bunk. Um, bunkhouse in it and it's right here at the door so we'll just start with it you will have a double over double bunks and let's see power and USB yeah on both well power and USB on top bunk you got power on the bottom bunk and yeah. storage area underneath that so plenty of room to slide some totes in there your heating's gonna be right there um, it does have a curtain that you can pull for some privacy. Also, you go ahead and check this out. Right here we're... at the door is your pantry. Wow, big pantry. You've got shelves all the way down to the floor. And then there's additional space. You've got plenty of room if you like to carry brooms, mops, or a stick vacuum or something like that. Um, you want to go ahead and check out the bathroom while we're while here? we're at the back. This does have All a right. rear bath, so we'll just show you the bath while we're right here. Holy moly! This is a nice big square shower. Yep. I really like that. And they're going to be mad at you for getting dirt in the floor. <laughs> but um, now Jeremy is six feet tall. In the crossroads, um, we have noticed that they don't do skylight, but they put you a vent, a vent yeah. above the shower. So. Tell us, what, tell us what you think. I, I don't know that we've seen that anywhere else. But you do have an exhaust fan. Your foot flush toilet is going to be right down here. You, It might be a little tight on one side, but 
plenty of room on the other. Yeah. Uh, nice size sink, mirrored medicine cabinet mm -hmm. up here. And you got this little storage. little storage down there. And you got storage right there. Yeah. So that that is pretty decent storage in here. This is this is a little bit smaller unit, so. Um, the fact that they give you that much storage in the bathroom, I'm just a little bit impressed with. Let's go ahead and move into the living area. So we'll start with this slide. You've got this uh, big super slide over here. Great big windows. This is going to be a jackknife sofa. So it'll give you some additional sleeping. Um, you'll see that you can store things under it if you need to. That just flips up out of the way. These little armrests will come out so you can put them basically wherever you want right in between your sofa and dining area you've got your um, light switches for your uh, lights in your slide with a USB port big big u-shaped dinette um, again this will make some additional sleeping if you need it you're gonna have storage on both sides um, those all the way back so it's both sides no carpet in here really like that I think we pointed this out yes yes love that they put these on an individual light switch yeah um we've pointed this out before with crossroads they give you lots of lights in the slide so if you like to sit here and play cards or put puzzles together you're gonna have really good light for that now i'm gonna go back over here to the sofa and I'm going to have a seat. Yeah. And this is where your entertainment center is going to go. So there's storage right up above it. You will mount your TV right there. Your connections are already in place. And there is a sound bar. And um, I haven't seen this type of sound bar. So I, mm. I can't really tell you a whole lot about it. Mm -hmm. But um, I like that they go ahead and give you one. Yeah. Your um, controls are going to be right below that. And they do give you an electric fireplace. Now, when we bought our camper about three years ago, I thought the electric fireplace was a gimmick. But that first cool morning, I realized, hey, that's a lifesaver. Yep. Your vents are going to be in the floor in this one. Um, let me go ahead and point out your AC unit up here. And you've got a 12-volt compressor fridge. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not perfectly level here in the parking lot. Microwave. Good rain. And your three burner cooktop with an oven. Your fuses yep. are going to be right below that. Um, these are not solid surface countertops, but they are a very nice uh, sealed edge. You're going to have a split sink. Yep. With a high rise faucet. Cool. It is cool. Um. I'm just I'm just bouncing around today. I'm sorry, up and down and up and down. But up here is going to be your yeah, storage. Yeah, I've done started up here, and <laughs> then you went haywire on me. Well, let's see if you're paying attention. Well, I am. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now down here down. you've got storage down below, and there are some drawers right here. All right. Yes. Super. And uh, again, I've already pointed out your vents, but uh, let's go right on into the main bedroom. Okay. Now, going in. Hey. Now. That's going to be kind of hard to show. It's a little hard to show because of where it is, but they give you storage just as you go in this yeah, door. I really can't open that um, up unless you can. Yeah, I'm going to hand it off to him and I'm going to open this door here. And I hope I'm not too close where you can't really tell a whole lot, but. But that is super good storage. Wow. Um, I don't. That's pretty cool. Don't know that I have ever seen it done this way in a travel trailer. Wow. Now here, um, I was going to go ahead and show you this. The the bed is open underneath. I so you can store underneath without having to lift the bed up, and I, and I really appreciate that part. You've got hanging storage on both sides. And there's a mirror on it. You do have a shelf across the top. Over here, you've got plenty of space for to put a CPAP if you need it. Power, USB. Power and USB on this side. Here is your second entry. And Jeremy is sneaking up behind me because he hasn't seen all Are of this you one yet. Me? I'm going to show wow. you this. 
here is your second AC. Now the big surprise on this one is Are just absolutely me? awesome. You have a half bath. No way. In your main bedroom. She didn't like you didn't let me see. This, I didn't really. tell you about this. I wasn't I was gonna let it be a surprise. So yes, it's got a medicine cabinet, sink, storage down below, and of course your foot flush toilet. I wow. I am amazed to see this. Away. This is awesome. Yes, to see this in a smaller travel trailer is is just absolutely amazing. Well, let me get out of the way so you can back up. I mean Wow, that is actually really yes, cool. Yes, and, it, and it's got a sliding door, so the, the door will slide too. Um, yeah. yeah, there we go. So, so I, I was extremely shocked when I came in and I saw this. Is awesome. This is just a marvelous. Idea. When when you get a little bit older like we are, trust me, you want a bathroom close to your bedroom. Yeah, it's already a struggle to get out of the bed. <laughs> Oh, now your TV will mount right up there if you want to add another one. Um, and they yep. do give you a light switch there by the window. So please, wow. please drop a note or a comment or something and let us know what you think about this because I love that half bath. All right, everybody. If you like this uh, Zinger Travel Trailer, the dealership's information will be down in our description. And like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Thanks, everybody.